He'll keep it here with Kyle Porter blocking and then toss laid downfield to Marquez Stevenson. His top target, the border on play one, puts the Cougs on top. What a start here in New Orleans, Adam. Everybody talked about De'Ara King being a running fashion, Matt. Well, we said it. He can do it all. You got to honor him as a runner. It looks like a run. He tucks it under his arm. He's got three points of pressure. Then he pulls back as a passer and throws to his top to catch. What a way to start for Houston. 75 go. yards in 14 seconds. This is essentially like a halfback pass, except in the case, in this case, the halfback is the quarterback. So Marquez Stevenson runs out as if he's going to be a lead blocker and then just blows by the defender who's coming up in run support. You see, you see the quarterback, De'Ara King, running to the side, like kind of going sideways, horizontal. And then he doesn't even try to get vertical except he throws the vertical pass. By the way, absolute dime on the run. Right. How many are left-handed? <laughs> None. <laughs> no left-handed quarterbacks in the NFL. Is that real? The righty deer and King gets hit, and it's intercepted. Tips and overthrows. Got to get those. That's a difference maker in the game. You're playing a talented play. What a play. Jalen Monroe, his first career pick, deflected up front by Juan Monjares. Coach Willie Fritz has a sign all around this building. It says it's all about the ball. It's all about the ball means turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. We got to protect the ball on offense. We got to find a way to get takeaways on defense. Ball's in midfield for the Tulane offense. Eight takeaways already this season for Tulane. And now they go on the ground with Darius Bradwell picking up good yardage on first down. Tulane offense build off of it. Nothing much there for McMillan. He gets There's over here on Tulane. There's another language. We got four tonight. Inside handoff. Mm. And a lot of room for Darius Bradwell. Good penetration. Mm. Little end around action. They needed just the 38 yard line. Namari Jones got hit hard by ESPN Deportes, ESPN U. This is ESPN at Yeoman Stadium. You got to go for it on fourth and short. Little end around. The fake to Bradwell, the lefty McMillan fires, end zone, and it is caught! Touchdown, wow. Jalen McCoy! Who transferred here to Tulane strictly to play for the team, his dad coach. A 38-yard bomb to almost even the score here in the first half. No defense for the perfect throw. Mm. McCleskey with the touchdown they've been waiting. It's a naked bootleg. I mentioned Mooney comes across, McCleskey number one is double covered. Now De'Ara King in a tie game goes back to work and he gets plugged up fast. Got wrapped up by Cameron Sims. He's just caving in on him, Matt. That is 100% Tulane's objective and mission tonight on the defense. On the other side, Patrick Johnson said, hey, that's my guy. That's who I learn everything from, Cam Sample. Not much there for Patrick Carr. He'll be right back. Game over the shut-in. A lot of guys on the field for Tulane. It's a free play for De'Ara King. Throwing it up top, and it's incomplete. Looking for Bryson Smith. Set. Lock in, get set, just get the free play. You get a free five yards out of it. It's third down and five, and Tulane brings pressure. King dumps it off. He's got Bryson Smith, and he was able to maneuver. The sack earlier gets his helmet knocked off. Probably an illegal hands to the face that doesn't get patience there to find the path. Instead of just running it, Found his guy, picked up a first down. Now we got guys breaking tackles here. That's Patrick Carr, the transfer from Colorado. Colorado, one from Texas. Explosive guys, kind of bruisers, good north-south runners. Tempo here from Dana Holgerson and the University of Houston Cougars early. This last week in his return. Yeah, no big deal. Had a knee scope. Now I'm just, <laughs> you know, running between the tackles. And now it's De'Ara King with a good run to get close to the sticks and set up third down and short. De'Ara King. is M. Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. Big hole for Kyle Porter, and he's able to work past the sticks to convert another third down. Here in Louisiana. <laughs> we had some of the booth for Matt earlier tonight. De'Ara King fires mm. incomplete for Marquez yeah. Stevenson. Much football this year. Sometimes you get alligator arms in a zone coverage. This is a man play. He already scored for 75 yards. We need him down the line. Can't be taking a big shot. I respect it and understand it, but now he's coming around the outside. Speed! Burners! 
from Marquez Stevenson. Tiptoeing down the line inside the three. You're now forgiven for your drop. A big run of 32 yards for Marquez Stevenson. Really, really nice. He had a touchdown catch against Washington State last week. Has the drop just there. They go right back to loose there. Let's have a little respect for him. Goal line defense. Big bodies on big bodies. Kyle Porter going airborne. Potter. He's in for the touchdown. I'm going to jump over a pile of humans and score six points for my college. State title games, two titles. And now Dalton Witherspoon adds the extra point to give Houston a shit of the two. First down for Houston, and it's Kyle Porter again making a man miss into the open field and inside the 30 up two lane. Finally brought down 30 yard run there. This is a strong north south run. Houston does a nice job of threatening you going vertical, but hits you going north and south. A missed tackle there by Tulane, and we've got an injury. Has set Houston up at the 28-yard line in Tulane territory. And a quick strike to Keith Corbin. And Keith Corbin is into the end zone for a two-touchdown Cougar lead. That was too easy. Whenever you got the run game. A tough sequence for Macon Clark. Misses the tackle on the play before, hurts his teammate. Then they go with the RPO. It just kind of takes a bad. And going. They got to respect that R in the RPO. And then all of a sudden, boom, pull it wide open. Just this week, I'm going to fake a run straight downhill. The quarterback's eyes are not on the handoff. They're on the backer. He just reads it. It's a simple slant inside. I mean, that's a touchdown in flag football. Not even close. They've shown it so far tonight. He's trying to get them back on track. I think he's got to do it with some completions. One for six is McMillan until that one. McCleskey lost the football. Big hit by Deontay Anderson, and the Cougars take over. And a fumble, and Houston takes over. What a hit by Anderson. Well, this is similar to what we were talking about earlier. This is a man play. You're running crossers because you think it's man coverage. If it's zone, no problem, but you can't keep running. You got to run over there and stop, or you're going to get basically knocked in the chest just like this. What'd you guys think? Construction helmet. Hard hat. Going to work. Blue collar. Oil town. Houstonians love this university. Because Edgiston went out with an ankle injury. They lost Jordan Carmucha, a backup middle linebacker as well. A lot of two-lane pressure coming and a timeout call by Houston. I think Dana Holgerson may have seen that. Houston. Hill fans in the city. Third down for University of Houston. Safety blitz mm. coming. De'Ara mm. King makes a miss. And he's got the first down. And he might have the record if he could get to the end zone. Yeah, just like that. He has set the new FBS record. To the top of the record books. This was like a highlight tape. P.J. Hall is spying. Kind of comes on a delayed Whoop. blitz from the safety position. This is just like... Boop, 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 boop. I mean, flag football might have been a touchdown. Sometimes there's there's the perfect defensive play call. You have it on, and you're just playing against a guy that is so special. There's not much you can do about it. I mean, just an athlete making a play. We talked about Pat White earlier. De'Ara King is just an electrifying football run. We mentioned earlier, bread and butter of this offense is the running game. They're trying to sprinkle in and get more consistent with the passing game. Slow start. Near midfield. Handoff and a first down. Able to push it into. Turn that locker room. None of them are going to quit. And let's see if they can continue to keep stacking. There goes Dauphine again. He's explosive. And he gets chopped down after a good gain inside. 8.7. So if he busts it out and gets loose, it's going for six. McMillan being chased, cuts it up the field, has some blockers in front, and he runs for another first down inside the 30. You have two successful runs in a row. You go with a naked bootleg, quarterback keeper. He's got guys open, but he says, you know what? Go. A lot of doctors and lawyers go to school here at Tulane. That's, That's right. true. They're Let's turning see. up tonight for the Tulane <laughs> Green Wave. Darius Bradwell making men miss, and he sets up first and goal for the Green Wave. Inside zone, outside zone, sets up a nice block, 25-yard gain. This defense, a little bit of rest after all of these three and outs.
Oh, McMillan baked it to Bradwell and didn't see what was coming on the backside. Excellent. Newton and David Anini. And Bradwell has a walk-in touchdown if he gets the ball. Here comes Stephon Hutterson, cutting it up. And he is in for the touchdown. First touchdown in two years. On the first play, didn't get the right read, got sacked. Then he gives the ball up to Tutterson. And the extra effort, the drive to get over the goal line to bring his team within two scores. Was able to keep his feet and allow Merrick Glover to add the extra point. Back to a two touchdown game. Second consecutive drive for McMillan inside his own 10. And he's going to run it. We'll take it beyond the 10. Offensive coordinator Will Hall. Gotta love his accountability, too. Oh, runs right into David Anini. Off the edge, Anini came Washington State. Yeah, he is a natural pass rusher. He's not very physical in the run, but he is a pass rusher. McMillan to throw it under pressure. He's got to get out of the end zone. Fires deep sideline. McCleskey put a foot down, and it is caught. Throw the ball on a line to a coach's son. Jalen McCleskey, what a play. The last time they connected was a touchdown wave after they're being backed up with a great punt. And now Bradwell with a good run for four on first down. Boy, Jalen McCleskey. Tied the five with that third and forever situation. And now Bradwell pounds his way to a first down. Good tempo here by Mayday. Run a play quickly. Looks like they just want to go with tempo, get, get into a rhythm right here with their running game. Not much there for McMillan That's as one of them came against Oklahoma. That's a lot. Dauphine's got a lot of space. Nice block on the perimeter by Mooney. Dauphine breaking tackles down to the 25. At the end of it, a 34-yard gain. This two-lane green wave is using tempo and picking up some real yards. And this is the 200-meter champ in high school. Once for Tulane, track and field as well. He gets the carry again. Cutting his way for about four yards, and that should take us to the end. Bread and butter run game. Second down, Darius Bradwell pounding ahead, close to the sticks, down to the field of Molly McGregor. Or dehydrated. Not a sponsor yet, maybe soon. McMillan cutting it. Touchdown to Lane. A point away from tying this game. These that they've done to themselves, getting away from the passing game, going back. Great third quarter. Ten play, 93-yard drive, starting at their own seven. That's now nine offensive penalties against Tulane. Darius Bradwell gets that penalty yardage back down to midfield. It's here for everybody. Strong alliteration, McAfee. Thank you. McMillan fires. Dangerous pass, nearly intercepted. He's trying to find some from Ole Miss, nearly got it. Well, we mentioned tips and overthrows can be a killer. This ball is up for grabs. Looked like there might have been some funky ball handling. Tulane much better on third down after a shaky start. Just a three-man rush. McMillan to the sticks for a first down. He finds Back to the ground game. They've been so successful under Willie Fritz in that regard. And Darius Bradwell rumbles towards the stick. Feed me, he says. Right back to him. Got enough for the first down. Darius Brad. Now they bring in Dauphine. Into that pile, the teeth of the Houston defense there to stack them up. Number six, scoring Dauphine. Willie Fritz talk. They had them all carry around a gallon of water, knowing it was going to be a hot night. Mm. Oof. Helicoptering is Amari Jones. Uh, spun down to the very edge of Merrick Glover's field goal range. Blitz from Houston. McMillan for Mooney. Again! Could not hold on! Darnell Mooney is not able to come up with it. Sometimes when you're running 4-4, you're running fast. That's a tough catch, a little arm. Two weeks ago. You see the kicker on the other side, missed two kicks. Now it's your time to step up for your team. Glover to deliver the lead. And he has put Tulane in front for the first time tonight. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. What a big moment for that kick. 
great snap, great hold, great rotation. Hit it off his toe a little bit, so it's on the right side. Of the Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we love those types of refs for the brand, I'll tell you that. If he's going to give him that right over top of the upright, we will take it. No inch left behind when it comes to field goal kicking. 31-28, <laughs> six minutes left. By the way, a field goal that is above or below the crossbar or inside and outside the uprights is reviewable. Kicks that go above the uprights are not reviewable kicks. So the call on the field is the one that counts as close as that. Fourth and nine from the 48. Here comes the pressure. De'Ara King, a lot of green grass in front of him and he's got the first down with his feet. King playing quarterback for you and it's a massive moment Dana Holgerson said hey Bob we know you can make a play with your I'll give it to Patrick Carr here spins down to the 31 yard line to pick up a five you got to bring the blitz but you can't overrun it you, you got to be aware of where this great running quarterback is at it every time and he's right down inside the 25 yard line down to the 21 11 more yards for King it feels like 10 yards in his Houston career Moba Carr spinning away from the initial surge and then gets wrapped up by Lawrence Graham near the 18 yard line King looking nothing there and Cam Sample wraps him up and brings him down Third down. Blitz from Tulane. Penalty marker is thrown, and down goes King. We'll have to check the flags. This is going to be against Hugh. Tulane gets a personal foul penalty. This was after the whistle had blown. Malik Lawali. Seen that happen. Just so what? Now what? Strong disagree. First and ten, De'Eric King. Seeking space, and he's down inside the five yard line. Second down coming up. In <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we can isolate that. And King to throw. End zone for Corbin. It is. It I mentioned no safeties deep. Cover zero. We're daring you to throw it. Make him earn it. Dalton Witherspoon. To tie it. And this time he coolly connects to tie this game with 21 seconds to go. Jones on the other. They're going to go with the squib kick to keep it away from the return men. Grabbed by Nick Anderson. And he's going to take a knee to preserve time on the clock. Their heart. I love the fact that we get to see both these guys in action. Oh, it's a trick play. Amari Jones. Trick play. Works it out near midfield. I love every guy, and he absolutely <laughs> okey dokes them. Oh my goodness! Amari Jones out of the pack. Will Hall and Willie Fritz were almost a little gun shy about some trick plays. They bust one out in the biggest spot. Well, this is called victory formation. It usually means you're just taking a knee. Sometimes you have this deep in your. Eight back in coverage for Houston. McMillan. Launches down the middle for McCluskey, and he breaks free! Jalen McCluskey, touchdown, touchdown! They take the lead with three seconds left! Every player on the Tulane Greenway football team is spread! Go! Do you believe? Two-play sequence, the trick, and then the treat to McCleskey. Well, they drop eight. There's almost nowhere to throw the ball. It's late down the middle. You got him. I got him. No one's got him. McCleskey, we said in the open, we wanted him to show up. Only four catches on the season. He showed up tonight with his second touchdown catch. This is one he will remember forever. I think everyone in this stadium will remember this play forever. What a finish. We got offensive. This game is going. I would say this game is not over. Never mind. We're going to annexation of Puerto Rico this thing. Stevenson trying to circle around. Marquez Stevenson, a penalty marker is thrown. Still on the move. Gets a block. Mm. Taken down. We'll have to check the flag. But if it stands. Return team number 89. 
Tulane's decline. The Ball biggest Tulane comeback in the last seven. American Conference opener at home to win like that can do a lot of great things for the organization.